Uh, not only that, don't forget tonight, we've also got the raffle. <coughs> Anyone who joins us tonight with their name was put into the raffle for the... <coughs> Somebody got some music on in the background. But you all can't mute your microphones unless you're actually speaking. <coughs> Please, and then it, it stops any background noise. <coughs> right, so the raffle tonight is two raffles for the one for our radio radio world, is it, and one for wireless world, our radio radio user and wireless world. Uh, they'll be drawn tomorrow, uh, randomly. Uh, Neil will be using the, uh, the spin the wheel with all your names on it, and the ones that it stops on will, will be notified of that prize. It's a one-year subscription to either either or the other. So that's that's what you'll be getting. Okay, okay. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen uh, with the awards presentation and we'll get on our way. Let's see if I get the right one up first time. <coughs> That's the one I want. So if I just pop that down and I go to... Right. I hope you can all see that on full screen. So, the SRS 2020 awards presentation. Um, Sorry, Tony, like... can't see a thing. My video's frozen. Oh, dear. I'm going to di dip out and start again. Tony, you put up the HF ladder presentation there. Yeah, I know. I ate the wrong flaming one, didn't I? Okay. I, said it, I said it was going to be good, didn't I? <laughs> I thought I was left off, let off the hook. <laughs> no such chance, Pete. It's not as long as leash. Right. That's just uh, where we're at, uh, at Manchester Airport. I think that was the second one that we did at Manchester Airport with the two uh, gazebos. Okay, Pete, are you with us? Uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so the SRS 2020 awards presentation. Um, many thanks to everyone who's come on the presentation evening. Myself and the committee wish you could have done it this at Walthew House and given you all a good evening with food and drink, which we normally do. But of course, the events of last year and what's happening this year stops from doing all that. So we decided to do an online awards presentation evening to say thank you to all for staying with the club and for what you have done for Stockport Radio Society. All certificates we've posted out to the lucky winners the day after the presentation. So Heather's already got the envelopes there. The certificates are already signed, sealed and uh, the stamp on and all she's, all she's going to do now is pop them in the post for you to receive. As I said, they are actually in uh, a car like the cardboard envelopes, uh, we do not bend on them, so hopefully the post will not bend them, and uh, you will get them all nice, nice and flat and straight to ready for going on the wall or into a frame. Okay, so the agenda for the evening. <coughs> the next up will be Peter with the HF Ladder Awards, and they'll be how big presenting the uh, Seedle operator, the highest attendance of Club Net. Contributors to the Society during 2020, Best Lecture Mark Club member, uh, the low power operation including Digimodes, the Harry Arnfield Trophy for long service to SRS, and a special recognition award for operating G8 SRS 100 and uh, the Chairman's Award. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to hand you over to Peter, N1PTR, who is going to share his screen with the HF Awards. So I'll hand it over to you, Peter. Right. Hope you can all hear me. So uh, this comes up. If we share this. You should see something similar to that. There we go. Right. Now, if I go to full screen. F5. <coughs> Function 5. Yeah, just a sec, just get rid of this one. And that should be the full screen down there. There it is, right. So I hope you can see that. Yeah. Right, that's the uh, presentation. So, 
straight into it. So uh, HF Ladder 2020. Well, first off, uh, a very big thank you to everyone who participated. Absolute record entry of 24 entrants and a mix of full, intermediate and foundation. I think it's the first time since I've been running it, we've had uh, um, entries from all categories. Um, and being 2020 and, and the, the year that we'd like to forget, uh, it's actually been um, a lot of you have been using your rigs and using the radio uh, as in the spirit of the hobby. A um, bit of information on the split. Uh, we had just a, just under a third on CW, just under half on phone, and just under a third on digital. So phone is still the predominant uh, mode that's used. Um, some people just did the single mode, some did two modes, and then about just about a fifth did all three modes. So just shows that people are uh, are able to, to participate in our in the ladder and, uh, and and get something out of it. And what was been good uh, this year that uh, we decided that we would actually uh, recognize as well as the uh, foundation intermediate um, full award and the overall award this year we'll recognize uh, the lead in each mode in CW phone and digital so there's actually going to be uh, six certificates or is it seven Heather with uh, with one trophy uh, popular bands, um, probably 20 most popular, as you'd expect. Um, short behind it, 40 metres, again, popular, I guess. Uh, it's been open, 20 and 40 were the predominant ones, uh, but also 15. There were some good openings on 15, so that, that shows. High scores in the bands, well, 96, so on, on uh, slots. These are slots where you work a DXCC. Uh, on 20. So 96 uh, DXCCs on 20, that's that, that's pretty good. But, you know, you can almost get your DXCC 100 uh, with four more. Uh, 83 and 15, another big score, and 82 and 17, uh, all digital. So that, that's that been a predominant mode in terms of uh, activity. So without more ado, um, this is the structure of the awards. Uh, we're going to do the license class uh, certificates first. Then I'll do the, uh, the mode certificate. And then last of all, we'll do the Jim Barlow G3 VOU trophy, which is the overall winner uh, on the ladder. So starting again, the uh, Foundation Award uh, this year goes to uh, John Chrissy. Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> hey. Congratulations. Congratulations, John. That's a good effort. and. Uh, Got some good scores noticed on the uh, right across the board, and I think the, yours was the 96 on 20. So well done with that! Congratulations. Okay, moving on. Intermediate award goes to Keith Sale, who is now uh, M0 JYP. Congratulations, Keith! You got some good scores again. Uh, just um, I think you were doing pretty well. On most bands, you've been. I think you had a. Did you have a CW entry? And uh, yes, you did. You had a CW entry. You're one of the ones that did all three modes. So well done. Okay, moving on. Uh, the full award, and the winner is Andrew Andrew Stubbs M zero AQM. Congratulations, Andrew. Well done. Uh, got some. Also, we get uh, some good results. You were doing digital. You're also doing. Uh, uh, I think you're doing SSB as well. So, yeah, congratulations. So those are the license class awards. We'll now move on to the um, the winners in each category of a CW, a phone and digital. So the CW award. Uh, been interesting, this one has, because it's uh, there's one, two in the CW. They've been at the top. So the winner this time goes to Bernard Naylor, G3SHF. Congratulations, Bernard. Thank you. I'm sure I don't know if Barry's listening, but you you did you set out on your target and you beat Barry, which is <laughs> one of your uh, objectives. I was, think, I was thinking Barry was going to send in a, a big list in December. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Avoid it. No, congratulations. Okay, and the phone award. Um, again, another one. This is nip and tuck, but the winner goes to Kieran, Kieran Murphy, M5 KJM. Hold well on, Kieran. Congratulations. You also had a good good spread across the bands. 
um, mainly on 40, 20 and 15, but you've got some good contacts on 10 and 6 metres. So, yeah, well done. Now we go to the digital. And the winner of the digital category is John Creasy, <laughs> CPT. Congratulations again, John. <laughs> You did some outstanding work on the... On the fine, fine. fine. Wanted... You did well, yes? So, uh, so I think the only bands you didn't do work on were 160, 60 and 6 metres. So you did very well. So uh, so now we come to the overall uh, award, the Jim Barlow Trophy. Um, just, just quickly, Jim was a, a member of the, of the Society way back. Uh, he was a radio operator on the QE2 and used to send in reports uh, back in the, uh, just in the 80s and 90s, I, I would think. Uh, he joined, rejoined after he, he, he retired and was a member of the contents group, so I got to know him quite well at the, at the, the farm. A uh, very ardent CW operator, and uh, he was the one that set up the trophy in the first race, the HF ladder. So it's uh, give ha thanks to him. So coming to the overall winner, the winner is... John Crincy, M7 CPT. Congratulations. Uh, so that's the final results. Um, you can see John, uh, 493. He got uh, Andrew was short behind 483. Uh, Bernard, 417. And then we moved down. It's a better 100 difference, isn't it? It's, uh, so it's all, all, all at the top. So that's a uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic turnout. And um, congratulations to all those that actually entered. So I'll leave you to say, so well done and thank you again to all members that entered. Uh, the lab has already started. Um, we'll never do it from uh, 1st of January right through to the end of December. So um, 24 people did it last year. So let's see what we do this year. So thank you very much again. And uh, congratulations to all our winners. Right, Tony? Over to you. Right, so we're carrying on with the with the awards from from the club itself. So these these are the awards that we're going to be awarding tonight. Uh, Peter's done the HF ladder. So the following two trophies have not been awarded for 2020 due to not being at Waltheu House. That's the construction trophy and the highest attendance of the club meeting. Um, it was going to be the highest attendance of the Webex meeting, but I thought, oh, no, you can't do that because uh, I'm in every one of them, so I'd win if it hands down. <laughs> so uh, we're going to leave that, possibly till next year. We might do it next year. So the T3FYE Best CW Operator. Now it's awarded to the member of the club who has achieved the most as a CW operator. And the award goes to, are we all ready for clapping? Chris Kennedy and David MacArthur. Uh, well done to you both. Uh, Chris, of course, David has come on to the, uh, the net, the CW net each day, and so has Chris. And Chris has come a long way with his CW from starting from scratch. So well done to you both. So the highest attendance on a club net, before going to the next award, I'd like to express thanks to all the members who have attended a schedule of club net and CW Morse net. I'd like that Bernard, Tom and Nigel for the tea time more sessions. They've been ongoing since March 2020 and they've brought some new members in as well. Also, like their net controllers below for their time and being in the control of the nets and keeping in touch with you, our members. And that goes to Keith, Nigel, Neil, Alan, Chris, Roy and Slovak. Uh, thank you very much indeed for sitting in the chairs, operate, doing the nets. Uh, without you, we would, they wouldn't have had any nets. Thank you very much indeed, but don't forget the nets are continuing on in the future. In fact, there's one another one on this week. After there's one on tomorrow night, the two meter net tomorrow night with Nigel two zero CKA. So I hope to hear you on that one. The G three SHW trophies awarded to the member of the club who been the most club nets during 2020. Uh, this does not include the CW nets or the net controllers. Uh, of course, the net controllers are not included in this because, of course, they're on it all the time. So the award goes to. Chris Kennedy, well done, Chris. Uh, you've been on every, I think you've been on every every net that's been uh, been going. Um, 
you must all i can say is you've got plenty of time on your hands <laughs> uh, but well well done to you well done to you and thank you for supporting all the nets as well in fact thank you to everyone who supports the nets because without your support we wouldn't be having any nets so the G4APA contribution to the society during 2020. This is a word to remember all members of the club who have contributed to a significant amount to SRS during 2020. <clears throat> and the award goes to the team. The Lockdown 1 team. Neil M6NAE, Keith M0JYP, Chris 20KJC and Nigel 20CKA. That's for the, uh, the, the phone side of it. And the Tea Time Moors team. Bernard. G3SHF, Tom M0DCG and Nigel G0RXA. Thank you very much indeed to all of you for keeping the club on the air and keeping all the, uh, the members going and also introducing new members as well uh, because we've been out on the air of course, everyone can hear and people have come along and they've actually joined in the Nets and they've also signed up as members to the club as well. So it's been a great asset to the club as well. Thank you very much indeed. Well, I'm going to do a special trophy which will be awarded posthumously. He did a lot of work with the courses and arranging everything behind the scenes, and we lost him too early. He was a friend as well as a member of the society, and will be deeply missed. And I think we all know what we're talking about, and that is John Marsh, M0JFM. Uh, unfortunately, John had uh, went to kill, and of course, we know what happened. Uh, went silent key very soon afterwards. So we are actually going to award a possible award to John for his services to the courses. The G4LP trophy is awarded to the member or members of the club who gave a lecture to the club via Webex. Uh, difficult actually when you, of course, if you don't know how to operate Webex. So uh, it's a bit of an achievement in all ways, really. But the award goes to Chris Kennedy. 2-0 KJC, uh, Chris was, uh, I think he was thrown in at the deep end doing the, uh, his little session with the, the, the Morse, but well done to Chris. Thank you very much indeed. I think everyone, everyone enjoyed it and everyone appreciated it as well, uh, how he got into Morse and how he's progressed through, as people know now that uh, he's becoming quite a, quite a substantial operator in the Morse section. G3... Oscar Whiskey Whiskey Trophy is awarded to member or members of the club who have operated using low power and or digi modes. And this award goes to John Cressy. Uh, John's been a, not been a member that long and he's been awarded his low power, of course M7, and uh, it's, it's nice to see people on, uh, get on the air. Uh, I found out a lot of M7s that have been passing their licenses recently. Uh, you, 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 <laughs> you know they've got a, a license, but you never hear them. So it's nice to hear people on. The Harry Anfield Trove awarded to the member of the club who has given their services to the club over a period, long period of time in different formats. And this award goes to Alan Gurnall, G0ROW. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Alan, you. for all the work you've done for the club, uh, and it's it's very much appreciated in all the formats that you've done, bringing back the uh, uh, the double sapphire award to the club, getting the, the members involved on in the nets, and also being on the committee and also as president of the of the club as well. Thank you very much indeed for your time and services, and may they continue. Yeah, yeah I'll still be active. Don't worry. Yeah. Right, the Chairman's Award gives a member of members of the Chairman has decided, has put the SRS name on the map for their contribution to G8, SRS 100 and, and the Morse, of course. And the award goes to Tom Bishop, M0TKG and Nigel Roscoe for their articles sent into Radcom during 2020. Uh, those articles were produced in Radcom, thanks to Heather pushing it and kicking a few backsides here and there. Um, but the articles were well and truly appreciated and we also went worldwide because they also appeared in qrz.com so you know it, it that was a, an achievement within itself uh very well written indeed and everyone appreciated them um as i said radcom goes worldwide and of course qrz is worldwide yeah, and the number of uh notifications that we had 
uh, congratulating us on uh, on reaching 100 years as a, a as a radio club. So it's uh, very much appreciated that. So basically, yeah, we are known known worldwide. Right, this one recognition achievement for operating GASRS 100. The award has been issued to those members who operated the GASRS 100 call sign either from the home QTH or from another QTH. And the award goes to Heather. Apologise, she's missed everyone off. I don't think she has, but if she has missed you off, please let me know. Uh, Heather, no, and we will, it will be amended accordingly. And it's the right group. Robert Roach, G1VXD, Tom Bishop, M0TKG, Evan Duffield, M0TJU, Rob Alford, M0ORA, Matt Mather, M0MVR, Kieran Murphy, M5KJM, Alan Gurnall, G0ROW, myself, M0SAV, Alan Kelly, M1FHM, Bernard Naylor, G3SHF, Pete Ridley, M1PTR, Dave Sawyer, GT, G2DS, Keith Sill, M0JYP, Slovak, Quebec, M0SQJ, and Richard Newsty, G3CWI. Thank you very much indeed for all, all your uh, efforts. We're putting GHSRS 100 on the air for our centenary anniversary. It's very much appreciated, and we did quite did get around quite a lot, actually, with those. So thank you very much indeed. If your name, if you did operate GHSRS 100 and your name is not on there, please let Heather know ASAP. So, a free raffle. Everyone has attended this award presentation and that's how we enter into our free raffle. Heather has made note of everyone on the meeting tonight and uh, that's why I recorded it, just in case you missed anyone off, but she won't have done, nor either. Uh, and tomorrow, Neil, will do two random name generators and the winners of these raffles will win a year's subscription to either Radio World or Practical Wireless. So good luck to you all. You, all your names are now going in onto the, onto the wheel. And I think you might need a bigger wheel, Neil. A bigger <laughs> wheel, Neil. <laughs> yeah, bigger. Rise on it, don't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So thank you to everyone for coming to the virtual presentation night. All these awards are given out each year, so don't forget to get involved. Stay safe and well. And thank you very much indeed from myself and the committee and everyone else uh, within the club. So basically, have a good one. Stay safe, stay well, don't get involved with anything if you can help it, uh, you know, stay away from the dreaded virus uh, and hope to see you and, or hear you on the air in the not too distant future. Thank you very much indeed. I've got to get back, back to your old man. Hey, T Tony. So, I'm going to disappear, um, but thanks very much, uh, Tony. That, that was quite interesting just to see, because uh, obviously I've heard about them, but never... Never been yeah. to any attendances, so it's been nice to see. So, congratulations to all the winners. I think, as Tony said, I think he's all deserve it for one way or another. So, we'll catch you further down the road, if, if not before. All the best, and I'm disappearing. All Good the night. best, Bob. Thank you very, thank you very much, uh, Bob, for uh, such a great distance away. Uh, so, so, should I say, from another country? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bob. Take care and see you soon. Cheers, then. Bye, Bob. Bye. Bye. Right. Yeah, I think uh, everyone will agree that this last year has been a really, really difficult year for all of us uh, in all in all aspects of it. And I think we've actually we've come through it, uh, you know, with flying colours to a certain extent. I don't think we've lost any members to COVID. I don't think any of our members are actually sick from COVID. I hope not anyway. And I hope that everyone stays away from it and stays safe. And, uh, you know, when the vaccine, when, you, when the time comes around to get the vaccine, get the vaccine, and hopefully that will give you some protection against it. Um, unfortunately, reading between the lines, I don't think we're going to be getting back to work here for quite a long time yet, the way things are going. Um, now they're talking about anyone coming into the country goes into isolation, they'll be going into a hotel and being waited on. <laughs> Um, I think but, uh, we'll have to see how it goes. That, that's down to uh, Mr. Mr. Boris and his and his. I was going to say his prawners and his crew. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot of different stories going around, a lot of false stories and a lot of uh, speculation. Um, you've just got to be careful what you read and you know make your own decision on on this as to how you feel about it. Throughout you, everyone, all these certificates will be in the post tomorrow. Uh, 
thank you for attending and I hope to hear you or see you at, in any of the new meetings in the not too distant future. We're going to um,